If you want to upload a scan document into Google Classroom directly, you can use Genius Scan, and that'll work on an iPhone as well as an Android phone. Here I've got the Genius Scan app, and if you look for that in the App Store, you'll find it. Um, this is on an Android. I'll show you how it works here. Notice I've also installed the Classroom app, which will be necessary for this to work. If you tap on the um, Genius Scan app, um, the default screen looks something like this, and if you hit the press button or the camera button, it'll start a new scan. Let's duplicate the scan I put in before. I'm going to try to scan two documents here. The first one is um, one I'm going to frame here, and when it's ready for a new scan, you'll see that zero number flashing. That's your camera button, so go ahead and frame it over that, and um, once you've got it centered right, press that once and you can see I've got the first one in and the number one appears. The second one is now ready to scan and this will be a second page and it'll be saved as one continuous PDF which is really helpful. Now the second page is in. I could add a third page but I'm going to tap the check button to indicate that's the end of this document and you may need to try it a few times so you get something which is um, readable um, and you can see sometimes the, uh, the lighting needs to be adjusted. If I hit the share button, like I just did right here, um, I see there's an option to go straight into Classroom. However, you won't be able to use that unless you purchase the paid version of the app in Android. So instead, I'm going to exit GeniusScan, and I'm going to go to Classroom. And in Classroom, I'm going to go ahead and open up. And when you first get into Classroom, you can navigate to your class, um, the document from here. This is the assignment I'd like to upload the uh, scan into. It says New Assignment Practice Scan, and I'm going to go ahead and unsubmit the one that I uh, practiced doing earlier, and now I'll show you how I can add an attachment. When I hit Add Attachment, I want to select File. If you select Take Photo, it'll only allow you to upload one photo, so you won't be able to upload several pages as a continuous PDF. If you tap File, then you can navigate down to Genius Scan. The default here, it's looking in my camera roll or gallery, and you want to go to this menu so that you can select Genius Scan. And in Genius Scan, you'll see I'm able to select the file I put there earlier. And once that's uploaded, I can select Turn In. Um, and that's how you can upload a multi page scan document. Um, and it's very similar in. Um, the iOS system, and I'll show you some pictures about how it works on an iPhone. So if you're using an iPhone, then the Genius Scan app is available from the App Store there too. Here's what it looks like when you first scan something in. I just uh, scanned the cover of a book here. Once um, you have scanned the image or document, go ahead and tap the button that's in the bottom right there, which is the Upload button, and then you'll be brought to this screen you can select other apps and Classroom will appear there. You don't have to have the paid version of the app in iOS in order to go straight to Classroom. Um, once you select Classroom from the other apps tab, then you'll be able to select which class you want to upload it to, which particular assignment you want to upload it to, and the last page will look like this as you add it. It'll upload and you can um, mark as done. Hopefully that was helpful. I hope this works out for everybody well.